Everyone, please give a round of applause to Paige for setting Yay. us all up. We love it. I MC some things myself sometimes, so I know how much work goes into it, and I don't even have to set up the equipment like she has to. Oh, it's okay. And she's like I a little, she's like a little four foot sixty pound thing. She's got to carry. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, I haven't been here in a while. I, I have missed it. Um, I. Uh, been through some things, so I might not be bringing the funny tonight, but, but here's some poems for y'all. This is called What I Mean to Say. You can't just write for yourself, but you can't just write for other people either. You gotta write about the things inside you that everyone feels too, but they think they're alone in feeling. That connection... That confirmation, that salutation, that transmission and admission of shared meaning, that's what writing is. Because remember, writing isn't a pre-existing, meaning isn't a pre-existing condition. Meaning doesn't exist without your participation. My dad taught me that. It's real easy to lose yourself in the randomness. It's real easy to wallow in the cruelty of the universe. But that does not mean that life is meaningless. It just means that you've got to take what you got and forge meaning for yourself anyway. I mean, I try to, and I'll admit sometimes I fail, but you've got to find it in your work anyway. Forge that meaning you want to see. Forged in the world with your words. You'll come to find it looks like other people's meaning too. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be you. The difference between the greatest and just good enough is all style points. No more than gravy. The best is just ego slavery. Don't worry about being the best. Perfect is at best just for fun. Just go and get your deed done. Coast in on thin fumes shamelessly. Be passionate, imperfect, painlessly. It's got to just be what you do. If to your own self be true, just go out there and do good work. Great work's not as important as good and true. Touch people with what you got inside of you. It's the same as what they've got. Sing the song of your soul. Finish it up, get it done, and then sing another one. Forge that salutation and then forge another one until you've made things just a little bit better. That's it. And that's all. That's the task and that's the call. We're all here just trying to make things a little bit better for each other. That's all we could ever hope to do. In your imperfect glory, reach out. Because other hands are reaching too. Make your meaning and connect. God knows it's all we've ever needed. God knows it's what we need now. Amen. Past belief. Don't let anyone else in the world make you old. No one else's stern words or opinions. No one's jobs or expectations of you. Nobody's laws, ideas, or mythologies either. None of these things can make you old unless you make the mistake and choice of buying the con job that they're selling you. I'm not saying you won't one day get old. Be old! If we're lucky, we get to be old. But only your body can make you old. We can't avoid our bodies making us old because that's what being alive is. That's part of having flesh's whole deal. But only your body can make you old. No one and no one else can make you old. Not unless you let them make you old. No one's penny ante BS rules, no ideology or textbook definition. Nothing else unless you let it. Your body will make you old someday. If you're even lucky enough to get that far. But until then you are young until your body craps out on you, you are young. Don't let nobody else rush you there. You are young. You get to decide. You and your body. You are young, you are young, you are young. Yeah. Yeah. The Better than we've done. 
Maybe if we all just got frequent full body massage like our cats and our dogs, we wouldn't start wars. And we wouldn't invent scam ride sharing services. We just stretch out and bat at rays of sunshine like the more civilized animals of the world. Maybe we just need more belly scratches too, the all of us. Maybe we just need someone to get that little spot right above our tail that make our legs kick all crazy. Then we wouldn't have to open up Walmart super centers. Then we wouldn't have to start proxy wars for oil. Maybe we just roll over on our backs and we just stare up at the stars and smile like we're supposed to. And uh, just one more quick one here. This one's a little more topical to the weather. <laughs> um, once again, thank you, Paige. Thank you, all the other performers. Thank you. Give old Sal's a round of applause. All the good people back there. <laughs> Paige does the hard work, but they let her have a place to do the hard work. So please, buy coffee, buy ice cream, buy weird trinkets in the back. There's a cooler shaped like Dooley from Schultz and Dooley that if it was $10 less I'd be buying right now. But I'm a broke artist, so I have it now. This is called Blizzard. All this awful winter snow just like life seems like a tedious hassle to be endured, to be dealt with, to be cursed at, to be dug out from beneath, to be mocked or hated, maybe at best tolerated, until that one moment when you stand back and you take a breath, and you let your see how damn beautiful it is. You have to let yourself see how damn beautiful it is. Life is beautiful just like that snow. And life is also a bear like the snow. And life is also a burden. And life is also a bastard. But never forget that it's beautiful too. Ignore the false dichotomies that they sell you. It is both. It is always going to be both. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. All right. We love you, brother. Yeah.